It was a hot Wednesday, late in the afternoon, when some lives in this McDonald's would be swept away, others forever changed when a man who, according to his wife, hated immigrants, walked in and opened fire. When it was all over, 21 people from 8 months to 74 years old were dead, 19 wounded. The 77-minute-long incident ended after a San Diego police sniper fired one shot, hitting the gunman in the chest, killing him on the spot. Southwestern College's Higher Education Center now sits where the McDonald's once was. 35 years ago was 1984. Inside the Higher Education Center, a series of speakers, some that were there that day, remembered the tragedy through personal stories, poetry, and art created by Southwestern students. Pictures of newspaper coverage hold frozen moments from what was at that time the worst mass shooting in American history. Today, it stands as the seventh worst. But these are just temporary displays. Outside, in front of the building, the permanent memorial. A plaque anchors a monument featuring 21 hexagonal pillars, one for every one of the victims who were killed, including 11-year-old David Flores. That's David with his younger brother, Guillermo. He would have said, this is nice. Thank you. Today, Memo Flores is 47. He was in L.A. on that fateful day, but would soon learn that his brother had been with two friends. They rode their bikes to the McDonald's just down the hill from where they lived. They never even made it inside. The murderer shot them down in the parking lot. David and one of his friends died where they were shot. The occasion brought some advice for parents from Memo Flores. Teach them that life is finite. You know, appreciate what you got to say. I love you. Your mom, give her a hug, or your dad. Or... San Diego Fire Battalion Chief David Connor was there that day as well. He was 22, had only been a firefighter for 10 months. After someone told he and his crew that people had been shot at the McDonald's, they headed to the scene. They knew it was very serious within seconds of pulling up. The gunfire towards the fire engine began. Uh, they were skipping bullets under the fire engine. Um, he hit the fire engine several times. We were hiding behind the, the, the engine. We were hiding behind the, the wheels. We were hiding behind compartments that were loaded with lots of equipment, anything we could. One of his fellow firefighters was hit, but the bullet bounced off of his gear. In the days following the tragedy, news came that the McDonald's restaurant would reopen. That hit neighbor Gloria Salas hard, and she began a crusade. Salas and friends eventually gathering more than 10,000 signatures demanding the restaurant be closed. Then one day, while protesting outside the McDonald's, a woman walked up to Salas with a message. The woman was Joan Croc, the wife of McDonald's founder, Ray Croc. The property is going to give to you guys in the community. So it's yours. It was, it was amazing. Years later, Southwestern College would build their higher education center on the site. Although it was tragic, it doesn't lay as a tragedy. It's built on, you know, this future that they have here. Turning tragedy into triumph. That's what they called the event here today. An event held in a building where thousands of students have graduated over the years. Silver linings of an unspeakable tragedy that will never be forgotten. In San Isidro, John Carroll. KPBS News.